In the previous video, we shared with you our experience negotiating a Lagoon 420. Although we had already done the survey, sea trial, and we even bottom painted the boat, things didn't go as planned, and after three months, we had to drop the deal for good. But we didn't lose faith. The next day, we woke up with hope and headed to the marina in Forlardo. We were just hoping one of the brokers at Just Catamarans would enlighten us with the boat we had not already seen online. It feels a lot bigger than the 42, right? It's, it's wider. wider. I was, I'm not a bigger I but it does feel. I might be wrong on this, but personally, I think the inside of the 42 almost feels bigger. Really? In terms of head height. So it's just the outside. Yeah, it's because of. Yeah, yeah. It, well, well, the it's it's the yeah because it's got the ply bridge. Um, I, I might be wrong on that, but I always feel like the holes in the 42 are a little higher. The broker kindly showed us a 2007 Lagoon 440, which was listed for $330,000 and a 2014 Lagoon 39 that was listed for $340,000. But the first one simply needed a lot of work since it had been in a charter for years. And the second one just seemed very tight for us and the dogs. It just wasn't what we were looking for. After seeing these two catamarans, we knew that we wanted a Lagoon 420 or 421. It just had everything we wanted. Plenty of room inside for the dogs, four rooms, four heads with a separate shower, an open galley, and a helm that was integrated with the cockpit area. This one's not it. For As sure. we were leaving the marina, I kept searching on my phone through every boat listing website, just hoping our dream boat would show up. And that's when the craziest thing happened. SV Marlin was up for sale, privately listed by his owner, and it had everything we wanted from day one. I immediately messaged the seller through catamaranside.com, but after three hours, I still had no response. Determined to get a hold of the owner, I found another listing that had the owner's cell phone and after getting a hold of him, I was told that he already had a viewing schedule for Sunday. It was Friday and I just had to make sure that he knew how serious we were about buying his Lagoon 420. I explained how our previous deal had fallen through due to the seller and how prepared we were to close. Turned out we had more in common than we expected and he had tried to sell the boat before to a buyer that was not prepared to close due to financing. It felt like forever but we finally got his message on Sunday afternoon saying that the viewer couldn't commit to buy the boat until the end of August so we could go and see the boat anytime. That Sunday afternoon, we had already purchased flights to South Carolina, cancelled them after finding out that the airport was way too far, and rented a car to drive up Monday morning. And guess what guys, the rest was history. In less than a week, we had already given the deposit, signed a contract, done the survey and sea trial, and now it was time for the handover. By then, we were freaking out. We had a boat with a scheduled handover, but we had no idea how to sail. So we headed to a sailing school in Key Largo. Babe, so how do you feel? We're doing our first class. Huh? Man overboard. <laughs> 101 ASA sailing. We're doing it our first class in a 22 footer. Catalina. Catalina and tomorrow we'll move up. We spent a whole week with our instructor, Laurel. She made sure that we would practice all the maneuvers ourselves so that we would feel comfortable sailing our own catamaran when the time came. We spent our week learning all about docking, man overboard, tacking, jiving, anchoring, knots, signals, safety, and obviously the basics on using a chart to navigate. Four, good, and then on the other one, go up to four. It was a long and exhausting week as Laurel made sure that we would spend every hour of the week busy. While one of us was at the helm, the other one was either plotting our destination on the charts or setting up the sails. She was truly a great instructor as not only did she teach us how to sail, but she also made sure that we knew how to work and communicate as a team during passage. 
but probably the best part of the course was when we got to see dolphins and a manatee. Oh my god, I'm so lucky right now. Oh, Dios. <laughs> this makes me so happy right now. Oh my god, I can't. I'm so happy right now. Now it was time for the handover and we just couldn't hold our happiness and excitement. We rented a minivan in Fort Lauderdale and packed pretty much everything we own. We were ready to head to South Carolina. Our new home was waiting for us. Okay, so we're officially in the car. We're officially heading to our new home, our new life. And that's everything we packed. The bears are ready. Everything's ready. Sulu, ready? So how do you feel, baby? I'm <laughs> Are you happy? Good. After such a long time. After a seven hour drive, we made it to the marina. Although we were a bit nervous since everything was going to be new for us, we were over the moon. What had started as a far off dream had now become a reality. On the other hand, the previous owners had a number of mixed feelings. They were sad to be leaving behind so many great memories on the boat, but happy to be going back to their regular lives in Germany after a sabbatical year. Really? How do you feel? <laughs> you can touch it. So we're doing the handover of the boat. So excited. Our new home. Feels like a dream! Alf gave us the last couple of technical instructions on the systems installed on the boat, such as the water maker, solar, navigation, and generator. Yeah. So, we installed, especially for the crossing and for the night shifts, there's an active radar reflector on top. That's the big one you can see. The antenna. Um, for the complete pavilion. Hakuna, like the Lion King, like Hakuna Matata, so it's gonna be Hakuna and Matata. <laughs> yeah, we have seen uh, um, what was um, Chipetto in Pinocchio. Oh, really? It was the father <laughs> from Pinocchio, so the boat yeah. was Chipetto. And I think you see Nakio. That's funny. Yeah. It's hot. Yeah, really hot. Really hot. Sandals are burning. Now, we've been surprised. We went to Atlanta. Uh huh. Which is inside. The country, yeah. Of course. It's cold. It's cold. It's much better. Much worse. Not at all. Yeah. And actually, in the Mediterranean, everywhere it's different. Yeah. When you are close to the sea. We get the it's fresh breeze, yeah. it's nice. So we came to eat back here, it was like over. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So you ready? Yes. New life? Yeah. Back to a normal life? <laughs> bye bye. Wait, let's take a... Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Yeah, oh my god. Thank yeah, you, Michelle. Really thank you so much. Yes. Really, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my god, we will pretty sure. Take care. Thank, thank you, Alf. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 It was nice bye. to meet you. <laughs> Enjoy going back to Germany. So, on every time you need something, just let them know. Awesome. Thanks thank you for checking in there. And we'll keep you guys updated. We'll send you pictures. Yeah, we will. Yeah, for sure. 
It was a wonderful experience to deal with Alf and his family. We were glad we got to purchase the book from them as they were incredible people. They were ready to take down their flag and continue their adventures in Germany. And we were ready to take on new challenges and make more wonderful memories. It's hard to explain why I had tears of happiness at that moment because we can't put everything we went through in one video. This was simply a result of dedication, persistence and hard work. It was a reminder that pushing through those tough moments is totally worth it. How do you feel? Tell me, tell me. Marvelous. Huh? You home. Huh? After six months of work, we did it. <laughs> After being in shock for a few minutes, we remembered that we had a car full of stuff with two big hairy dogs, so it was time to figure out what went where. Stuff, last boxes. We are heading to Home Depot. Get some air conditioning for our new home. It is hot, 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 hot. Really hot. So, hello, home. Hello, home. Yeah, it's really hot. Yeah. So, how do you feel, baby? Do you feel like a boat owner? Do you? Has it sank in already? Because it hasn't for me. I feel like, oh yeah, there's a boat. <laughs> and then, like, we can't. So we are moving into the boat now. Uh, we already did like five times coming back and forth. Thank God they have golf carts here. But Alejo went to Home Depot to try to get some kind of connection to install the air conditioning unit. It's extremely hot here, like crazy hot. So we're trying to get some kind of air conditioning system here while we put everything together and to settle down because we're sweating like it is a hundred degrees here we were finally able to install two portable air conditioning units that would keep us cool both us and the dogs obviously coming from florida we were expecting south carolina to be a lot cooler since it was north but the reality was that south carolina was extremely hot i would say even hotter than florida We had a huge mess on the boat and it was going to take us a couple of days to put everything away and settle down. So we decided just to relax and enjoy our first day on Hakuna. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and hit the bell button so you can be notified on our next video.